Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Classic Times. Today, I'll be going through stage 6 of the Cambridge Latin course, and I'll be explaining past tenses. Okay, let's begin. Past tenses. Latin has more than one past tense to describe events that have happened in the past. Here are two of them, the imperfect and the perfect. We'll look more closely at them over the next few slides. This is my favourite stage that we've met so far, and I'm about to introduce some really interesting grammar. That's a lie. There's lots more endings to learn. OK, I'll admit there's quite a few endings to learn, but regardless, let's look at the imperfect tense. Verbs in the imperfect tense have be a in them and are usually translated by the words was or were. The imperfect is used to represent an ongoing action in the past. Let's have a look at the example of the verb to write. Scribe bam means I was writing. Scribe bas means you singular were writing. Scribe bat means he, she or it was writing. Scribe barmus means we were writing. Scribe bartis means you plural were writing. And scribe bant means they were writing. So the endings are bam, bas, bat, bamus, batis, bant. And that equates to I, you, he, we, you, they. So I'm afraid you're going to have to try to learn those endings. Now that we've looked at the imperfect, let's have a look at the perfect tense. Verbs in the perfect tense usually have V in them and are often translated by words ending in ED. They represent a single or complete action that has happened in the past. Let's have a look at the example of the verb to enter. Intrawi means I entered. Intrawisti means you singular entered. Intrawit means he, she or it entered. Intrawimus means we entered. Intrawistis means you plural entered. And intrawerent means they entered. So the endings are e isti it imus istis errant. And that equates to I, you, he, we, you, they. So I'm afraid that there's more sets of endings to learn. Now that we've met both the imperfect and perfect tenses, let's highlight the differences. So the imperfect represents an ongoing action that has happened in the past. For example, the dog was barking. However, the perfect tense represents a complete action that has happened in the past. For example, the dog barked. Notice the subtle difference. Now that we've been introduced to a hefty amount of grammar, let's have a look at some more vocabulary. Abest means is absent. Aberat means was absent. A cubiculum is a bedroom. Emmet means buys. Ferrocata means fiercely. Festinat means hurries. Fortis means brave. A fur is a thief. Intente means carefully. A libertus is a freedman, which is an ex-slave. Olim means once. Parwus means small. Per means through. Postquam is after. Pulsat means hits or thumps. Quad means because. A res is a thing. Scribit means writes. Subito means suddenly. Superat means overcomes. Tum means then. Tus means your or yours. Wendit means cells and wituperat 
means blames or curses. Now let's have a look at some examples of the imperfect tense in use. Caecilius in tablino scribebat. This means Caecilius was writing in the study. Pater et mater aberrant. This means the father and mother were away. And finally, Metella in horto sedebat. This means Metella was sitting in the garden. Now that we've seen some examples of the imperfect, let's have a look at some examples of the perfect tense in use. Fur atrium circumspectarwit. This means the thief looked around the main room. Caecilius forum intrawit. This means Caecilius entered the forum. And finally, Pompeiani ad teatrum festinar werent. This means the Pompeians hurried to the theatre. Finally, before I set you some examples to do, let's have a look at some mixed examples of both tenses in use. Pompeiani in taberna winum bibebant. The Pompeians were drinking wine in the shop. Juvenes ad tabernam festinar werent. The young men hurried to the shop. Clemens clamorem or dewit. This means Clemens heard the shout. Notice the first sentence uses the imperfect tense, bibe bant. And the next two have perfect tense verbs with festinar werent and ordiwit. By now, you should be confident with the two tenses. Okay, so I'm now going to let you have a go at a few examples. Try to translate the three sentences on the current slide. Note the verb werbero, which is glossed on the top right. So pause the video and have a go at those. Now let's go through the answers. Sewi furem werbera werent. This means the slaves hit the thief. Sewi per weam ambulabant. This means the slaves were walking through the street. And finally, amici caecilium salutarverunt. This means the friends greeted Caecilius. Well done if you got all of those right. I will leave the answers up on the screen for a moment, just in case you need to double check your answers. Now let's look at a passage from the Cambridge Latin course. Pugna. Clemens in foro ambulabat. Clemens was walking in the forum. Turba maxima erat in foro. A very large crowd was in the forum. Sewi et ankylai kibum emebant. Slaves and slave girls were buying food. Multi pistores panem wendebant. Many bakers were selling bread. Poeta vekitabat. A poet was reciting. Mercator Grycus contentionem cum agricola habebat. A Greek merchant was having an argument with a farmer. Mercator eratus pecuniam postulabat. The angry merchant was demanding money. Subito agricola graecum pulsarwit. Quod graecus agricolam vituperabat. Suddenly, the farmer punched the Greek because the Greek was hitting the farmer. Pompeiani ridebant et agricolam incitabant. Pompeians were laughing and they were urging on the farmer. 
clemens, postquam, clamorem, ordiwit, ad pugnam, festinawit. Clemens, after he heard the shout, hurried to the fight. Tandem, agricola, mercatorem, superawit, et e foro, agitawit. At last, the farmer overpowered the merchant and chased him out of the forum. Pompeiani, Agricolam, Fortem, Laudar Werent. The Pompeians praised the brave farmer. Now that we've been through stage six of the Cambridge Latin course, let's summarise. The imperfect tense can be translated using the words was or were and represent an ongoing action that's happened in the past. Your clue letters are the letters BA within the word. The perfect tense represents a single or complete action that's happened in the past and is often translated with the word ending in D. The clue letter is V. Let's quickly run through the endings again. The imperfect endings are bam bas bat bamus batis bant and the perfect endings are e isti it Imus istis errant. So try to learn both sets of endings and you'll be mastering Latin translations as always. But join me in my next video where I'll be explaining stage 7 of the Cambridge Latin course.